Hi guys, it's Maggie and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here. Before the real video gets started, I wanted to sit down and kind of talk about what this video is going to be. So this video is a me moving out of my sorority house and like a sorority house tour. So yeah, um, I first wanted to talk about what it's like to be in a sorority because I get a lot of questions asking me if I like it, if I would recommend it, so I'm going to answer those questions. So the first question I get a lot is, what sorority am I in? So I am also, I am also, I am in Alpha Phi. Um, I go to Iowa State University, so I'm obviously in Alpha Phi at Iowa State. Um, I also get the question, why did I join a sorority? So I had a group of four friends. Well, me, five, but they were like my best friends. Um, I did have other friends, but they were always like my best friends in high school. If I wanted to hang out, I'd text them. They would text me to hang out. Like everyone knows what five friends they are too, because we're just known as like that friend group, like a friend group. We grew up doing cheer together, and we were always just all best friends. So when I decided to go to Iowa State, I knew Greek life was Greek life was really big there, and like everyone does it. Iowa State has one of the best Greek programs um so I was like I really want to try it only one of my close friends was going to Iowa State well two but I really was like I want to try it if I don't like it I can drop but it's a really good opportunity I'm not person to like go out of my way to make friends like I'm kind of shy until you get to know me like I'm too anxious to go up to someone and be like hey like I'm Maggie you want to be friends so I was like, it will be a really good opportunity for me to kind of to be forced to like meet people and stuff. So I went through recruitment. I absolutely hated it. I literally hated it so much. I did not have a good recruitment experience, but like looking back at it, it made me grow so much. I made so many friends from it, like people in my recruitment group. Um, it like made me more social and more not nervous to talk to people because you talk to so many people through recruitment and it also gave me like it helped me like be prepared for college because that's a lot of what you talk about at recruitment so I joined to make friends easier to get out of my comfort zone to just see if I liked it and I ended up loving it so I also think that my parents especially my dad are kind of like you want to join a sorority like you're not really that type of girl but okay they obviously supported it, they support everything I do, so I just tried it and I loved it. I also get the question so much from literally friends, family, and you guys asking if I recommend joining a sorority, and 10 out of 10, I recommend it. Um, I do think it depends on the school you're going to, the, not really the person you are because there's a sorority for literally everyone, but what el what other commitments you have, like if I was on the cheer team or if I was on the basketball team I don't think I would do it I don't think it is worth it because it's a huge time commitment to be on a team and also if you want to get everything out of your sorority it's also a time commitment so I would recommend it for literally everyone who wants to join who's thinking about it try it if you don't like it you can drop but I guarantee you you will like it so many people enjoy it go through recruitment being your honest self don't lie about who you are, don't act like a different person, because then you're going to be put in the wrong sorority. Recruitment works so well, I don't know how, but everyone I know who is truthful ended up at the right house. They love it, so literally don't be fake. Be who you are, and you'll end up where you belong. Um, I recommend it because it's literally given me so much. It helps everyone grow, and it's like, seriously, like the connection between everyone is so, like, strong like if I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see someone who I don't really talk to um in the sorority because you can't talk to all 150 people like we all try our best but it's kind of impossible I'm not like shy to be like oh my gosh like you look so cute like love ya like you know like cheesy like that but like they know it means something and I'm also like really shy but if I see somewhere someone somewhere that's in my sorority that I don't really talk to I will go up to them and be like hey like how are you like it's not weird to talk to them they're literally like you're so comfortable around everyone it took me like a semester and a half to really warm up to like being in a sorority 
which I knew was gonna happen, but like once you warm up, it is so worth it. So to kind of explain, because I'm all over the place, I was just gonna say like what it brought to me and why I'm so strongly for people joining the Greek life and people trying it out. So in high school, I was really shy. Not really shy, but like I wasn't really outgoing, I guess. Um, and then I joined a sorority and I like didn't really trust people I guess like I was really hesitant to make new friends to trust people to like want to be friends with anybody else besides my close friends but like Alpha Phi has brought me literally so many of like my best friends we all say like we found some of our bridesmaids in Alpha Phi and I truly believe that um so like all my friends I made is definitely number one like so thankful for that but it's also made me grow as a person. It's made me very not insecure about myself, I guess. Very outgoing and willing to try new things, talk to new people, and be like accepting, I guess, if that makes sense. I've always been accepting, but it's really opened my eyes to like meeting new people that I usually wouldn't be like besties with because once again, I was just so close with like the same group of people, cheerleaders, like my best friends, my friends from All-Star Cheer, and like a few others. So it really opened my eyes to like the different kinds of people and also like people who went to my school or like surrounding schools that I was like, oh, I'd never be friends with them. Like we're not alike, like I like them, but like we're just not the same person. I realized like I can be like best friends with them. Like I'm, some of them are literally my best friends. They went to my high school with me and I just never talked to them. So even if you feel like you're being stuck in high school, who cares because there's people in front of your face in high school that can literally be your best friends that you just aren't noticing. Um, and then it also brought me leadership opportunities. I've had two positions in like one co-chair position. So I was our target marketing uh, manager, whatever it's called for Alfie. It's kind of not really a big position. I really didn't do much, but it was a position gave me some responsibility and then the next position I took on this year was our social media position let me tell you it is a lot of work I didn't really expect it but it goes well with my major and I love social media as you all know my camera ran about out of storage sorry but I don't know what was it talking about but I have gotten the social media position it has like made me be able to talk to people really well because I have to reach out to all of our members being like can you send me this picture can you do this for me can you do this for me it's but had a lot of impact on like me making more relationships like the person who's above me and our president I have to talk to them a lot and to they have both became like really close I love them both and I also was our lip sync co-chair so lip sync is part of Greek week we do at Iowa State so it's like a whole bunch of tournaments a whole bunch of games a whole bunch of community service a whole bunch of spirit stuff all of that stuff and I was the lip sync co-chair with another girl in my sorority and then two girls in a frat that we are paired with a fraternity that we are paired with and you kind of just make up a 10 minute routine of like a skit and dances and you make a huge backdrop. But frankly, we got canceled, but um, that was still really fun. It really helped me make a lot of new friends and it really was a lot of work. So it made me time manage a lot with a job and homework and YouTube and Instagram and having a social life. So definitely 10 out of 10 recommend sororities, but I've been talking for way too long so if i'm posting this video i don't care about what the quality of these next videos look like my we have apartment style rooms at alpha fee so it's like me and five people live in one room or one apartment style so i showed that because i moved out when there was like coronavirus i was my last roommate to move out so it's really empty except my stuff but i kind of show you and it's also really dark down there and my camera died so it's literally on my phone with the flash on showing you around we're trying to get in and out so i didn't really show you much footage besides the room and me talking about how much stuff i have but anyway i know you guys really want to see it and i really want to show you guys so um yeah here it is Online <laughs> for the rest of the 
semester. So my all my roommates moved out two weeks ago, three weeks ago. How long has it been since spring break? Two or three weeks ago. Three weeks. So we felt like it was safe to go and get my stuff now. So that is what we are doing. Um, and I wanted to vlog it and show you my room and give you a little tour of it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I plugged my my camera in last night and it didn't charge, so we're on my iPhone. So sorry if the quality is a little rough, but we'll get through it. So we have a 40 minute drive, 30 minutes when Dad's driving. <laughs> Thankful that I went to college clothes. <laughs> we have arrived, arrived. We need the bins at the this sorority house. Dad has his lights off. Look how empty our parking lot is. No one is here. No one's been here. No. All right, so it's really dark in here, so I have my flash on, and the quality's gonna be bad, but I will show you. This is one reason I didn't ever vlog. So we have this room. So it's Catherine, Chloe, and um, Brayden's room. There are two closets. Their bathroom. Then, you walk, here's a random thing that isn't even ours. Here's me and Claire's room. This was Claire's desk, my desk, my bed on top, Claire's bed, and then my drawers. Claire's drawers, our big closet. And then here's our bathroom. Just me and Claire's bathroom. And then, sad, but here's our kitchen. And then our closet. That's not our closet, that's like the house closet. But then this was where our futon was. We had a big rug and then our TV. So. All right, so we are packing everything up still. Um, I'll show you what the inside of the car looks like. I don't have very much stuff here. All of this. I really did not think I had this much stuff here or left here. And then you start going through your drawers and you realize you have a ton of stuff. So thankfully we fit it all in there. It's gonna really suck taking it all out, but. And we have stuff strapped in here. Here's the tubs too in the back. So. Albert Einstein doing here. 